Avian influenza, or the dog flu, has recently become an issue in the Midwest. With a reported case in Iowa, it's important to know how this deadly virus can affect your dog. Hello, I'm Dr. Leah Bross, Emergency Veterinarian and Head of the Hospice and Palliative Care Department at Iowa Veterinary Specialties. A recent outbreak in the Chicago area was determined to be a strain of the virus that we have not yet seen in the United States, the H3N2 strain. Along with the H3N8 strain of canine influenza, pet owners are beginning to worry about the effects this virus may have on their pets. So what is canine influenza? Canine influenza is a highly contagious virus spread through aerosolized secretions like coughs or sneezes and can also be picked up from a surface containing the virus. This includes kennels, water bowls, collars, and leashes. Because canine influenza is so transmittable, outbreaks commonly occur in places where vulnerable dogs are in close contact with each other. Places like shelters, kennels, dog daycare facilities, and grooming facilities can become a hot spot for this potentially deadly virus. The canine influenza virus can live on hard surfaces for up to 48 hours and can stay on clothing for up to 24 hours. The virus can even live on human skin for up to 12 hours. Like the human strain of influenza virus, canine influenza has an incubation period of two to four days after exposure. Signs your pet may be infected with canine influenza include a persistent cough for 10 days to three weeks despite treatment with antibiotics and cough suppressants. Discharge from the nose or eyes, sneezing or lethargy may also be seen in your dogs. Another sign your dog may have the canine influenza virus would be a loss of appetite. Your dog may also have a low-grade fever. It is very important that if your dog is showing any of these symptoms, take them to your veterinarian as soon as possible. It is also important to let your veterinarian know if your pet has recently been in a shelter, visited a boarding or grooming facility, a dog daycare, or dog park. Although your pet may be showing clinical signs of a canine influenza infection, your doctor cannot diagnose your pet with canine influenza by the symptoms alone. Your veterinarian may perform one of several tests to diagnose canine influenza. This could include an in-house test using your pet's blood. It's more likely that your veterinarian may draw blood to send to an outside laboratory. Your doctor may also suggest sending a nasal swab to an outside laboratory to diagnose a canine influenza infection. If your pet's sample is sent out to an outside laboratory, it may take up to a week or more to get the final results. It is important that your pet receive supportive care and be isolated from other dogs while test results are pending. Because canine influenza is a virus, there is no direct treatment for an infected dog. Supportive care is necessary to keep your pet feeling normal. These treatments can include antibiotics to treat any secondary bacterial infections. It is important that your dog complete the full course of antibiotics prescribed even if they appear to be feeling better. You or veterinarian may also prescribe dog-friendly NSAIDs to help control fever. Fluid therapy may be needed to treat or prevent dehydration. Your pet may, may need to be hospitalized to receive these treatments. Hospitalized patients must be isolated from other animals as with any respiratory illness. You should schedule an appointment with your pet's veterinarian if you be, your pet begins showing signs such as cough or discharge. It may become a medical emergency if your pet develops pneumonia as a secondary infection. If your dog appears to be in respiratory distress or is unable to move, you should consider bringing your pet to Iowa Veterinary Specialties for emergency care.